Alhamdulillah, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. To all my Muslim brothers and sisters, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept this fast from us and our taraweeh and make it as a means of expiation of our sins and protect us from the punishment of the fire. Inshallah, just a really quick story from um, that I found really interesting. You know, um, some time back I had read this and it was a story that's taken from Surah Al-Safa around Ayah 50 um, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about a man and then that the angels will tell the man, you know, the man um, will say, I had a companion in the life of this dunya. And the angels will say, basically, look down. I don't you see him? And when the man looks down beneath him, he will see his friend in the middle of Jahannam. And he will say, indeed, you almost caused me to be led astray if it were not for the grace and mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And his friend, the one Jahannam, used to do waswasa in his head. You know, and we'll go over this little story really quick. And it'll give you an idea of what the waswasa was and how it can affect us even today with people. So what happened was him, this man, this Muslim man, and his friend, who was also apparently Muslim at the time, they had combined about 8,000 dinars of wealth. So his friend, the the one who ended up in Jahannam, he had a craft, he had a business, started growing from that money that they had put together. Well, this one, he was a basic man who used to do it, uh, uh, you know, do his job and didn't have a business, didn't have a trade. So that man thought, why am I sharing money with this man? You know, let me just give him his share, take my share and move on along with life. So that's what he did. So he told his friend, look, here's your share. I'm going to take my 4,000 and here's 4,000 dinars for you. And I'm going to go on with my business. You go on with your way. So the, the, the Muslim man, you know, the, the, the humble man, he said, sure, no problem. However you see fit. So his friend who had the craft, he goes and he bought a house that used to belong to a king for 1,000 dinars. So he invites his Muslim friend over and he shows him, look at this house. Look at how beautiful my house is. Don't you see? Isn't this massive? So the Muslim friend, he says, Alhamdulillah, yeah, may Allah give you more. And so then the Muslim man goes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he does dua, O oh Allah, you know, Grant me a house from the houses of paradise. And then he takes a thousand dinars and he donates it in zakah. Some years pass by. His friend who had bought a house, now he went and married a beautiful woman from high status in society. And he paid her a thousand dinars. So he invites his friend over for dinner. And he tells him, do you see this? My beautiful, my beautiful bride. I paid a thousand dinars in my heart for her. Isn't this amazing? So his Muslim friend says, SubhanAllah, Alhamdulillah, MashaAllah, Barakallah Hafeed. Yes, it is an amazing thing, indeed. And rather than to be jealous, he goes to Salah to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala to do dua. And he says, Oh Allah, grant me from the Holy Ayn of Paradise with your grace and mercy. And so he goes and gives 1,000 dinars in zakah. Then some years passed. And this friend of his, this wealthy friend of his now who's getting wealthier and wealthier, he goes and he donates, um, I'm sorry, he goes and he buys two gardens with the $2,000, the 2,000 dinars that he had, you know, and, and, and in that time, 2,000 dinars would be probably more like $200,000 in today's time. So the remaining 2,000 2, dinars that he had, he bought two giant gardens. And again, he invites his friend, you know, kind of, Enticed him, look at me, look how I'm enjoying the life of this dunya. Isn't this beautiful, these gardens? So this Muslim man, you know, the humble man, he says to him, Alhamdulillah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you even more, it's very beautiful gardens. Then again, he goes to Salah and he does dua to Allah, O oh Allah, grant me from the gardens of paradise, with your grace and mercy. So then he donates 2,000 dinars in zakah. This friend of him tells, this friend who's wealthy is telling him, do you still believe in Allah? Do you still believe in, in, in the Akhirah? That when we become bones and dust, that we're going to still come back to life? I mean, look, look at this life I'm enjoying. 
Why are you holding yourself back from all this? Stop. And in today's society, I'll give you an example. When a person goes and buys, um, you know, a, a tremendous home, uh, by whatever means necessary, halal, haram, doesn't matter. And they run a business by whatever means necessary, halal, haram, doesn't matter. And so the believer might look at them, the one who's trying to be on the straight and narrow, and shaitan will do waswas in your heart. Man, you can be just like this guy. Just give up your morals and ethics and, you know, the Qur'an and the sunnah. Just go do this, go. Look at this beautiful woman he married. Where are you going to find this without having money? Yeah? Money makes the world turn, as they say. So this waswasa, waswasa keeps bothering a person. And the believer, of course, alhamdulillah, like this man, he says, Oh Allah, grant me from akhirah. Here, I give zakah. Grant me from akhirah. I don't want it from this dunya. So nonetheless, some time passed and both of them pass, pass away. Both of them die eventually. So the angel, and this goes back to the ayah um, in Surah Al-Safat, the angel will come to the man and say, this, this is your home in paradise. And the man will say, this is massively beautiful, mashallah, alhamdulillah. And then the angel will say, and here's your wife, al hur al -Ain. And here are some beautiful gardens that Allah has made for you. And so many more things he'll be given. And the man says, this is like such and such, you know, who has so-and-so, or so-and-so who has such and such, speaking and thinking about his friend in his dunya. And the angel will say, and even better than that, it's even better than that. So this man will mention, um, I had a friend, a companion in the life of this dunya, who was like X, Y, and Z, where is he? And this goes again back to Surah Al-Safa. And the angel will say, look below you, look beneath you. And the man will look in Jahannam and will see his friend in the middle of Jahannam. And he will say to him, indeed, you almost caused me to go astray by the waswasa you gave me of the life of this dunya, had it not been for the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So likewise in today's dunya, Whenever you're following the straight and narrow and always trying to do the right thing and lower your gazes, turn away from zina, you know, young man, young woman, protecting themselves. And you have companions who encourage you and, oh, look at this girl, man, look at her. Or look at this guy, isn't he like this and that? Waswasa, waswasa. Peer pressure. But you always remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has better for you. Or as you grow up and, you know, people try to entice you. Look at the car I got. Look at how I got this. Look at how I got that. And oftentimes, though not always, but oftentimes, what means did you use to get that money, you know, to do this? You bought a car. You're paying riba. You bought a massive house. Instead of a humble home, you bought a massive house. You're paying riba. And you have to confront Allah with this one day. So the person will try to entice you to do it as well. But the one who is patient and believes in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, Alhamdulillah, may Allah give you what you have, but Allah has something even better for me in Al-Akhir. And inshallah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes us of those whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses. And we ask you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us. And for all my Muslim brothers and sisters, whenever you see the enticement of this dunya, protect yourselves. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم and put your tawakkul on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that indeed there will come a time when he will give you far better inshallah